Well, hello there. Hello, everybody, and thank you for checking in. I appreciate it. Listen, it's nice to be home. It's a beautiful day here in Valencia, California, where I live. It's nice to be home. Uh, I've been traveling a lot. I've been traveling so much that last month my electric bill was $1.41. So it's nice to be home. And my gas bill was $0.18. Cents. So it's nice to be home. I travel a lot. I travel all the time. I travel by airplane a lot by aircraft i'm in the airplanes and do you do you get to do that do you get to kick around and go transcontinental north and west and east and south and all over the country well i do and um, i'm tired i'm a little tired of it uh, i'm a lot tired of it actually do you ever get these people when you fly do you get the people that sit behind you they sit in the seat behind you and they bump into your seat and they kick it and they they do it sort of continuously throughout the flight they don't seem to have a understanding of the physics that they're that they're disturbing you they don't seem to get that and i'm not talking about children children i don't you know, i'm not talking about them i'm talking about adults and i'm not even talking about when people are getting settled in you know i mean i know there's going to be a certain amount of that but i'm talking about throughout the flight uh that's what i'm talking about so what I've done is I've uh, invented an invention, which helps me. I guess an invention is kind of a strong term, maybe a device. It's a device that I've devised, created. It's a sign. Well, let me get right to it. It's a sign that I've come up with. And I'll show you. I'll read it to you what it says in a second. What I do is I hang the sign over the back of my airline seat like this, just like so. And... I'm sorry you had to see that. Look at the back of my head there for a second. <clears throat> but um, so I get that I, I like to get in my seat first if I can get the priority seating, get in there and get the sign all set up, get comfortable, and then I watch as the people are coming in. You know, here comes the people. Here comes the people with their with their backpacks and their crates, bottles of water, and they're all coming in. They're, you know trying to find places for all their stuff. And then they come in, they come in, they come in, they're sitting, and then, then the person will sit in the seat behind me, and then that person will read the sign that I've placed there for he or she to read. And um, it starts with notice. Notice. I, now, I could, have, I could have put warning. I could have went that way, or I could have went the other way and put their fellow traveler, but I decided to start it off with notice, and it says, it says, notice, the back of this seat is connected to the front of this very same seat. The back of this seat is connected to the front of this very same seat. Right, okay, well now you might be thinking, well, that's, isn't that, that's obvious, that's an obvious thing, that's, everybody knows that. Well, I would think that, I would think that too, but they don't. A, a large, large percentage of the population does not seem to understand that concept. And the people that would, wouldn't understand that concept, the people that would need this sign that I've placed here, would also need need more. They would need more than just that sign. So what I've done is I've broken it into, uh, there's more for them to read. And, and on the bottom of this sign, it has a little thing that says continued with an arrow. And hopefully they'll understand that that means there's more for them to read and to pick up the sign and to read the, the following. Every time you bump into the back of this seat, the person sitting in the seat will feel it. Every time you bump into the back of this seat, the person sitting in the seat will feel it. Okay, so I'd say that I'm driving the point home pretty well here, wouldn't you say? I think a percentage of the people that would read, have read that sign would start to get the message that I'm trying to convey. But um, some won't. Oh, by the way, you can see the type of lettering that I've used here. The style of lettering is what some people would call a kidnapper ransom note 
style or uh, maybe psycho stalker style of lettering. Uh, well, I'm not. I'm not trying to be anonymous. I'm not going for an anonymity here. I want. I want the people to know that the message is from me. It's clear that they'll know it's from me. That's kind of the whole point of it. I just thought that that kind of that style of lettering would give me the desired effect that I was looking for in the messaging. So still here, I, I, I think they need more. They're going to need more. Most of these people are going to need to read more. And again, down at the bottom of the page, it says continued with an arrow. And they're going to lift that up and they're going to read, they're going to read this. If he is asleep, you will wake him. If he is awake, you will annoy him. I'll just repeat that one more time. It says, if he is asleep, you will wake him. If he is awake, you will annoy him. Okay, so there, there you have it. They've really, they're going to understand by this point. But just to kind of drive the point home a little bit further, there's a, an arrow. Now, what I've done is, I just, I've, it doesn't say continued at the bottom. It just has the arrow. And I think even the lower 10 percentile of, of people, even those people that have an IQ of less than six, are going to be able to extrapolate that that arrow is, means continued. And because I've kind of got them in the habit now of, of lifting and reading. <laughs> so they're going to do that. They're going to lift and read. They're going to read this. The guy up there is not a very tolerant person. This is demonstrated by the fact that he took the time to make this sign and place it here. Now I'll read that again, I guess, just because I've been in the habit of reading everything twice. So, the guy up there is not a very tolerant person. That's referring to me. This is demonstrated by the fact that he took the time to make this sign and place it here. Now there's just one more page for them to read, and then they're done. And uh, there's an arrow on the bottom of this last page that's just, just an arrow. And when they lift it up, they'll see this. Enjoy your flight. Enjoy your flight. With a picture of a, a happy little airplane there. Now, th they are done with their reading assignment. That's all there is in the messaging. Um, they may not know that, though, because they've been turning and turning. So, there's no arrow at the bottom of this page. What I have put is a page 5 of 5 note down at the bottom of that. So, that just as a courtesy, let them know that they're, they're done with their reading. And that's basically it. And then I go and I... I relax and I enjoy my flight. It's been very effective and it could work for you too. You're probably wondering, hey, hey, where can I get one of those? Well, I sell them. I sell them. They normally sell for $100. But right now I'm having a special sale. Uh, you can get them for three easy payments of $39.95. $39.95 and you get everything. You get the towel and you get uh, all five pages of the sign. And um, and you get everything. And it comes in three three colors, three varieties of colors. I'm talking about the towel portion of it. You get you can get black, as you can see here. You can also get red or teal. We I had bone bone or cream colored, but we sold out of of those. So um, go ahead. Hey, that 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 uh, that's the end of this uh, video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Listen, go ahead, like, and subscribe. And, and, and listen, you know I got other videos on here that uh, nobody, not too many people are watching. Why don't you check one of those out? What else you got to do? Nothing, right? All right. Hey, thanks for coming.